Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to a new public exploit review video. In this video, we're going to talk about an exploit that targeted a software program called Anytext Searcher. Now, Anytext Searcher is a software program used for looking through text files, any file that contains a specific pattern. So, for example, if you're interested in looking for the word test, as illustrated here, um, as you can see, the program will look through all of the documents, all of the files that contain the word test and display them here in the window. And on the right, you can see the occurrences where the word test appear, appears. So basically, it's free by the way. Um, okay, let's now take a look at the exploit. So the exploit here, uh, as you can see here, if you have, uh, actually it's only applied to Windows. So if you have Windows and you installed Anitex Searcher, so you may consider that there is a vulnerability, and it's a new, by the way, 20, 2021. It was released today, the exploit. So basically, the program it is still vulnerable uh, as we speak. So basically, what is this exploit uh, about? So basically here, as you can see, let me explain in the diagram, it's better, not visible. And um, by the way, uh, we can't, if you ask that, I can't uh, just reproduce every scenario for every public exploit. It's very hard to reproduce the scenario, reproduce the exploit and the production work. So basically, I would resort only to explain the diagram when I can't reproduce the scenario. So basically, here we got an attacker running Kali. And on the right, I have Windows 10. And this Windows 10 running or it has any text searcher and installed, right? And as you can see, the program as per the exploit is vulnerable to uncoated service path. Now, in previous videos, we have talked about uncoated service path and what does that mean? So basically, uncoated service path is when the exploitable, uh, the executable, sorry, responsible for the service associated with the program is stored in the path without codes. So here the path, as you can see, C program files, any text searcher, AT service.exe. The service executable file is stored in the path with no codes, which leaves the program or the service vulnerable to uncoded service path. So in order to exploit that, an attacker right, has to first establish foothold to the target system. So first, we have to exploit some sort of uh, vulnerability, maybe an application, maybe uh, phishing, whatsoever. And once you have access, right, uh, and you find that the target is running any text searcher, you're gonna first look through the status of the service. As you can see, the service, you can see the service binary path, and it is auto started. So as you can see, the, the, the binary path is, or doesn't have codes, which means we can, if we have permissions to put our payload here, right, in, the Anitex searcher, what the attacker would do here, we would go here to the step two, we would create our own payload, make it to target Windows, right? L host, L port, and the extension needs to be exe, and the final payload name needs to be anitex.exe. If we can place this payload, right, in Anitex searcher, Actually, no, it needs to be the same name. So basically, I'm gonna have to take this. So the, the, your payload needs to be, so you create a payload and the payload name is atservice.exe. And then you transfer the payload and put it in the text searcher directory, all right? Now, once we have placed the payload here, all we have to do is to restart and configure, no, first to configure the binary path of the service to run our own payload. So basically here we would take this and put it here. So when I configure the service, the name of the service is AT service. When I configure it, when I configure the binary path to be in program files AT service, uh, no, I again confuse this thing. It was right, actually, I made it wrong. So here, let me, let's take this one. 
copy it right, right here. And this one. So I rename my payload to be nitx.exe, ESC. And then we put the payload in program files nitx.exe. Now, why is that? So basically, because the service path doesn't have codes, it means that when the service is restarted, right, it's going to look where is the execute, where is the binary associated with it. In, 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 in that case, in the original scenario, the binary is located in any text searcher, program files, any text searcher, AT server.exe. But because it doesn't have codes, it's going to first look for like that. It's going to first start C program files. Is the application here or is the binary here? Nope. It's going to then look for any text. So wherever there, wherever there is a space, it's going to stop and treat this as a directory and look for the application. So when I put the um, payload in the first occurrence here, right, any text.exe, and put it into program files, it's going to look, hey, where is any text.exe? Let me look for it. Is it in program files? No. Is it in program files x86 any text? Is it here? Yeah, it's, it's here actually, and it has the same name. So when we configure, when we run this command, right, the executable binary path will be any text.exe. And once we restart the service, it will do escalation of privilege. And you will have administrator access to the system. So that is the exploit, and there is no patch to today because the exploit is a new. And if you have had an engagement before where you encountered any text during your pen testing, it now has a vulnerability. And if your client uh, does have any text or they use any text in their desktop programs or in their endpoints, or if your enterprise is using any text, it's, I think it's time to consider disabling any text until a patch is released. Currently, there is no patch since the vulnerability or the exploit is kind of new. It applies to Windows and we can download it from here. Okay, that was about this. See you in the next video.